By default, if we need to create multiple courses, we firstly have to hold Option key and then click in those places where we want multiple cursors to appear. So I'm going to change this modifier key that we have to hold to create multiple cursors and make it Command on macOS or Control on Windows by using the following configuration. So now anytime when I need to create multiple cursor, I'm gonna have to press Command first and then click in all the places I'd like to create multiple cursors in. Also, I would like to disable cursor blinking effect by applying cursor blinking option set to solid. At the same time, let's also change the type of this carrot. I'm going to use block. Additionally, I usually like to change the color of this carrot, but not just the color. I'm going to apply gradient. So let's get back to this style sheet object and add the following override that is basically going to apply gradient to the carrot. So now, just because we have changed custom UI style configuration, we have to reload custom UI styles first. Let's run the following command inside command palette custom UI style, reload, and then agree with all confirmations that appear. And on the next VS Code start, we can see that the gradient has been applied to our cursor. And also the text color under the card doesn't look good. It is almost invisible, so I prefer to change the text under this carrot by using the next setting. Within this block called Color Customizations, we can apply some additional color overrides. One of those will be the color of the text under the carrot. I am basically going to make the text under the carrot black. And after saving the changes indeed, we can see that the text under the carrot has become black. And that's about it for this short lesson. It was mostly focused on modifications of the cursor.